Hello and welcome to our unboxing of the RS97 handheld. So inside you have the console, which we'll show in more detail in a moment. You've got a USB charge cable, an AV adapter, and a quick start user manual. So whilst the device is booting up, I'll just quickly go over some of the features and specifications. So you've got a 3 inch screen with a dual core 64 bit CPU. You've got the digital D-pad, start and select buttons, gaming buttons. On the top you've got shoulder buttons, charge port for the rechargeable battery. On the bottom you've got the SD card slot and headphone socket. And on the side you've got the power button and volume dial. The RS97 comes in two models. You've got the 4GB model which has 800 games and the 16GB which has 3000 games. What I'll do first of all is show you the ROM browser. So on here you've got a number of systems including the Neo Geo, Game Boy Advanced, Super Famicom or Super Nintendo, the Mega Drive, NES, Master System, Game Gear and Game Boy. We'll show you uh, a game from the Game Boy Advance. Um, show Mario Kart. So just to speed it up, I'll skip all the menus and then we'll get straight into the game. So as you can see, the game's running at a good speed. There's no frame skipping or lag or anything like that. Uh, the emulation runs really well on this system. So you can access the pause menu with the start and select buttons. From here you've got the game settings. Depending which emulator you're using, there'll be a few different options here. Uh, you can configure the buttons. So if you don't want to use the original button styles, so like jump and kick, uh, you can change that to different buttons. Uh, you've also got the save and uh, load uh, save states. So what that does allows you to save the memory to the internal storage and then you can resume. We're going to show that in the next uh, game. So we load up one of the Neo Geo games. Um, there's over 100 Neo Geo games here, so we we'll just pick a Metal Slug, just to save a bit of time. We'll fast forward um, to the gameplay. So we're in the game now and as you can see it's running really well, there's no major slowdown or lagginess or anything like that and the controls work really well. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll show you the save state. So you go to the archive, save where you want to save and then go back to the game. And say for example if you die at one point during the game, what you can do, so I've just died there, is pause the game again load the save state and it'll take you back to where, where you was originally. So if you're finding a place that's tricky to get past you can just keep doing that and hopefully you get past it a bit sooner. The next game we'll show is uh, one from the NES. So on here there's over 700 games for the NES. Uh, we'll show you Super Mario Brothers. So uh, as you can see the controls are really responsive which is very important for a platform game. Um, if it's too early or too late for jumping then obviously the controls won't be responsive. So that's a quick overview of just some of the, the games that you can find on there. Uh, as we said there's depending which model you have there's either uh, 800 games or 3000. Uh, so just say for the Mega Drive for example there's 638 games. So on the other remainder of the menu you've got the mp3 player, you've got a video player, image viewer, ebook reader and file manager and on the last page is the settings menu. 
So from here you can change the language, customize the background, sound settings. Um, if you want to delete all your saves and restart from fresh, you can do that from here. One of the great features with the RS-97 is that it supports custom firmware. So if you use a up to 32 gig SD card, you can install a custom firmware and whichever games you want into the SD card slot. So from this you can uh, use emulators such as um, Amstrad CPC, Amiga, Atari, uh, you've got MAME, MSX emulators, PC Engine, PlayStation, even Spectrum. So there's a lot more on there. And so you just put that onto an SD card with whichever games you want and uh, you can run them just fine. Not every emulator works as well as the ones that come with it. But um, if you play around with the settings, you can get pretty good results from it. And there's also some other features like customizing the skin, uh, the wallpapers and so on. So if custom firmware is something you're interested in, definitely this machine. We hope that you have enjoyed this brief overview of the RS-97. You can find out more information in the description below.